It's not going to start the presentation now. So I wanted to give you a, a nice overview of um, where we are today and what you are part of. And I think that's um, just to ground us into, into our, our achievements. So amazing airline numbers. So today we're close to 200 exclusive aerial photographers in 65 countries. We have over 56,000 photos, which are highly curated, over 30,000 videos. We have photos and videos from over 110 countries. We have partners, uh, over 35 premium partners in multiple countries. We have built a database of potential clients um, of over 1,200. And to date, um, Amazing Aerial has paid over $200,000 in royalties to our team members. So I just wanted to put Amazing Aerial into perspective of when we started six uh, years ago with five photographers and one agency distributing our, our, our photos and having no clients um, to where we are today. So I think uh, thanks to your great work, um, you have built uh, Amazing Aerial and I've done a lot of things in the background trying to um, make us stronger and to open up doors that we would never even dream of. And also what is great is that people are actually, um, sorry, people still coming in, uh, people are starting to knock on our door, which is uh, a really a, a great achievement. Uh, next slide is, um, so there's 200 exclusive photographers in 65 countries. So um, I put a few few of the members here. Some are, are new, um, some are older, but it's just to give a, a an idea of um, of how many people uh, we are actually in in the team in in so many countries. And I think this is a, a very very strong community. And I would like to continue building this um, as a community where we get involved more and we have more interactions with each other. At Amazing Aerial, we have a support team. So there's people in the back um, doing, doing a lot. Um, we built a magazine with Giovanni and Rebecca. Um, we got Michele, who you all know, who um, is, 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 is the backbone of Amazing Aerial in terms of curation and editing and uh, talking and communicating with our partner agencies and making sure that the quality is always top and that is well um, organized, that the metadata is all um, well, well organized and that it's uploaded and distributed to all these partner networks um, that we can uh, generate revenue from. Um, we have Johnny who's um, working on the academy on the back end. I'm not going to go into that more. Uh, my wife Nikki, who also, as you have seen, when you, when you do the payouts, uh, she's the one who's processing the payouts and and uh, and sending you the money. And um, also lately, um, Carlo has joined Amazing Aerial as a creative director and branding and strategy. Um, he's really been a great support um, for the last six months. He joined as a photographer at the beginning of the year and he got all excited and he wanted to be more involved. And um, everything that's happening at the moment, um, a lot comes from him, um, the rebranding and the designs and the ideas. And uh, that's something that I, that I really needed because I'm uh, good at building and, and developing business. Um, but um, I really needed support in um, implementing everything and, and building a brand um, and making it stronger. So I'm, I'm really so happy um, that uh, Carlo is also part of this uh, support team. <clears throat> um, Dimitri, he has been helping us for the last two months um, in collaboration also with Carlo, um, setting up the strategy for, uh, for, for the social media. Um, 
posting, engaging, and start starting to build our um, our presence online on throughout the different platforms, looking at which platforms you want to use, how we use them in different ways, via, whether it's LinkedIn, where I have over 6,000 professionals that are following me, um, whether it's Instagram, trying to build and make that stronger, and then reaching out to other social, social platforms. So um, I just wanted to give credit to all these people that have, have been really uh, doing a great job. The next slide is our intention is to really build um, our distribution network and to connect to more clients. So we have a, an international um, global audience, uh, including renowned publications and, and industry, industry giants. So um, we're, we're there and we're just we're building it. We have a worldwide distribution network. So we started with Offset, which is a Shutterstock company, but it's premium. Um, then I've been in contact with uh, Adobe for, for many, many years as I was uh, a contributor to them. And I reached out and we're also at the Adobe Premium. Um, they love us. They love receiving our content. Um, we work with DPA, which is the German press agency. We also work with other specialized agencies in all these countries, in China, in Taiwan, in France, in Korea. We have a few in Germany, a few in the USA. And this is growing, and I, and I will show you. Um, we've, we're being published. Uh, Microsoft Bing, they also love our, our work. I think we've been published over 40 times on their web page. Zero Magazine as well. We've had double page spreads with them. They keep on licensing from us, even though the press uh, industry is, is having a really hard time. Um, but they really support us, and they really love our work. Um, no. Royalties paid to you. So as I mentioned, we have paid over $200,000 in royalties to you. For the latest um, Q3 2023, we paid $18,000 to you. And we want to make this, make this grow. We're going to be putting efforts into supporting you in growing your portfolio to increase your sales, um, meaning we're going to be doing uh, creative direction. So we, like we do a community call here, we'll be doing um, creative direction and trends and we can sit down talk about the trends and kind of also do challenges and um and grow your portfolio and we want to do a campaign called get to 1000 so a lot of people a lot of our photographers um they they're upload but they haven't reached the 1000 mark and once you reach the 1000 mark then the um the payouts are regular so I think um, this is how we're going to support you um, growing, growing your portfolio. When we started in 2018, we had one agency um, and five, five photographers. And as you can see here, this is our sales increase. Um, it's just increasing. It's just getting better. We're getting stronger. We're getting direct clients. We're getting advertising agencies, production companies. They're paying higher rates uh for 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 clips and and for photos which i will i will also mention a little bit later so this is like a wrap of where amazing aerial is what we've achieved so far and now i'm going to present um what we're doing currently and um how we want to move forward and how we want you to also be involved in this so one of the biggest um, changes that's happening, and a lot of people have been asking about um, getting sales reports and, and, and streamlining everything. We're now moving from one platform, which was uh, Photo Shelter, which was a photographer-based platform, which was great for us at the beginning. It's, it's more like a portfolio. It had like backend um, functionalities where you could FTP to clients and, and give client access. Um, but you didn't have invoicing and sales reports. Um, so Sodatech is a very big platform. It's a very hefty platform. It's existed for like 20 years and um, it has a lot of functionalities. It's also very complex. Um, the back end is very, very complex. But it, once, you, once we get our head around and we have a lot of learning, we will be able to do a lot of things. And this is going to streamline a lot of things and so there's some really big announcements um, around Sodatech. 
I want to give you a timeline related to to to, to solar tech. So, uh, so September, October, so of the last two months, we've been uploading all our photos and uploading all our videos to this new platform. So that means that we're shifting from photo shelter onto this um, on, onto this platform. In November, we're going to be starting to import input all our sales data. So all the sales that we've had over the last six years, we're going to input it into Amazing Aerial. And that means that it's going to connect every single photo to every single sale. And I'll explain to you why that is important. <clears throat> In December, we're going to start to input the Q4 sales, so the, the, the latest sales that we've had. And in January, we hopefully, if we smooth all the edges, we will be able to do our first sales report. So that means it's going to be automated for us. So for the last six years, I've had an Excel spreadsheet and then Excel spreadsheet was this big. And now it's just way too wide and way too long. And um, it just wasn't possible anymore. We would spend four days just processing everything. and. DPA use uh, for the tech. Um, many other big platforms use that platform, and they manage to process sales reports to thousands of photographers within a couple of hours. So this is very important. So that means not, not only will you get a sales report with your individual sales, but we also have the possibility that every month or whenever we import new sales, that you can get a, a notification by email saying, hey, you just had a sale. So currently, it's me going and looking at our stats and looking at our sales, and I send you uh, a WhatsApp message saying, hey, you just had a sale. So this will, can also be automated, so you can actually see live um, your, your, your sales. What you have to understand is that we receive sales reports monthly from our partners, so it won't be live as in straight away, but it will be at the minimum uh, one once a month that you get these, um, these, these, these notifications. So currently, we use WeTransfer to receive your um, to to receive your photos and receive your videos. So now you will be able to have your own platform. That means you'll have your own FTP um, um, area where we will you will FTP your photos and you will FTP your, your your videos into this platform. And that means instead of there being a one month cycle as we do like a monthly call, it takes us one month to process everything and then to send it to all the agencies. Um, this, it'll be uh, instant. So when you send us something and it's a, let's say it's ready, um, we can click at a button and it can send straight away. Um, this has um, great implications and I'll explain some other functional, functionality that we can use from that. Um, so that will be our interface. Um, so what you have to understand now that Soda Tech, there's two parts to it. There's the back end, so for our functionality, and there's the front end, basically what clients can have a look at, that you could have a look at. Um, that does not exist yet, and that's, we will need to build that uh, in, in about February some, sometime. And once we've um, implemented the front end to, to Soda Tech, we will plug it all in. And that means clients can come and purchase online. You will have your um, your page. You'll have so you, we can click on your page. People can have a look at your videos and have a look at your photos. If you want to check, oh, if I, I forgot what I submitted lately, you can actually go to that page. Um, so there's going to be a lot of functionalities around that. So so that tech is a, is a great system for that. <clears throat> One of the major, major announcements, and even though it's not ready, I don't like to announce things when they're not ready, but this is very well in progress, is I mean, I've hired a company to do AI metadata. And so in the past, there's always been tools to, let's say, automate um, keywording. So it would go and fetch certain keywords, uh, certain photos, and try to match the photos with the keywords. So, it wasn't very accurate. And what we're trying to build at the moment, we're trying to build an accurate metadata service. What does that mean for you? That means that you will never, ever, ever have to keyword and caption ever again. It's going to be automated. 
Yeah. That means, so it's, and, and it's going to be working as an API. So it's going to basically, this technology company that I'm working with is going to be connected to Sodatech. That means that when we upload a photo or a video, we can click at one button and it's going to take one second to not only populate the keywords, but to generate titles and to, to generate captions. So how does that work? It works with our current photos. So it's going to run um, our current portfolio through the system. It's going to take our current keywords that we have within those, those photos. It's going to take our keyword sets that we have. It's going to take our GPS data. And it's going to take all those parameters and create captions and keywords. So there's one caveat, which is sometimes the system cannot recognize exactly something. And that's when you have to have a human touch. So for example, you're on top of this mountain and the mountain has a name and you're shooting this lake and this lake has a name. Okay. You, when you upload your photo, you can just put those two keywords in. Okay, the name of the lake is this, or lake, whatever, and peak, whatever. And then, as it will be in, in, the, in the keyword field, the AI will understand that, that is, these are the most important two words that they're going to be included into the caption. And, um, and so, so that's kind of going to really round off the edges uh, of, this, um, of this AI tool. I'm very excited about it. Because one of the big resistance to photographers in general um, sending in photos is the keywording. It's like, I can edit, I can fly, I can edit, but the keywording, no way. So that's why I'm, I'm developing it, and it's going to be a one of its kind. So that's a good, good news. So that API, I think, should be running by January. So what you need to know is that this is costing amazing aerial, right? And so it's costing a one-off fee to develop it, but then they're also going to be charging a monthly fee based on the photos that are being processed. So what I want to do, I want to find a way that um, we can, I, and this is not defined, um, but that there might be a monthly fee that um, we would charge you, but it would be a minimal fee. To charge to to cover that 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 monthly um, cost that, that we have, but I'll need to check uh, check um, how how that will happen, whether it'll be taken from the, the royalties like we, we currently do, or if it's something that I'm going to ask you um, to pay um, uh, separately. So moving on into February, and as I mentioned about inputting our in November inputting our sales data. Well, we're going to develop the infringement service, um, and that's infringement search. So for those who are not familiar, and familiar with infringement, um, this is a very um, um, amazing area to actually generate revenue. Um, people steal photos, um, and there are agencies that are specialized in retrieving and spotting that and highlighting it for us. And then we can say, and now because we've inputted all our data into one place, we can, when, when we get a report saying there's maybe been an infringement, we can have a look at the photo, we can compare it to our Sodatech um, sales. And if you, see, if you can see that it hasn't been sold, then we can flag it. Um, if you can see that it has been sold, but not to the right clients, we can flag it. And there's a, there's going to be a process for us to um, to approach those clients. So I spoke with uh, with a very big partner uh, yesterday, um, and they have seven people working in the infringement department. It's a multi million dollar business just the infringement. So I mean they have millions and millions of photos. We don't, but this could be a really good way. Um, to generate revenue. So the way they work are, are like a normal agency. They take their fee and then they give us the 50%. And then as we always do with, with our royalties, 
uh, we share 50 percent uh, with with you so that could be um, a really good way to to also generate revenue another revenue stream there you go so i'm going to pass on to the next slide um <clears throat> we have uh, consolidated partner agencies around the world and more and more agencies are coming to see us so last year i went to sepic uh in uh, in spain last year and i met with the many many um picture agencies and it took me a while to see which ones are good which ones didn't fit some people don't have premium or some um hadn't in, uh, established premium within their collection yet, so we couldn't work with them. So I was slowly, slowly working with them, making sure that they don't sub-distribute our photos, making sure that our pricing is right. Um, and so this is why we started working. So first, uh, science, so the new ones. Science Photo Library within the, within the UK, they're very strong. Um, they specialized and, uh, into nature, into science, so they were very interested in, in getting our portfolio. Um, Tongro in Korea, so they're a specialist um, agency, commercial agency. Um, we've also signed, um, we've also sent their um, our photos and videos to them, so they can't really be working. SIPA France, now this is also very good news, because SIPA, they are a news agency. So hot news and um, they say general news. And I would like to develop with, with you guys um so we are a creative agency we whatever we shoot is very beautiful um but there is a market um for us which is news that means that with 200 people in 65 countries if something happens somebody can go and shoot it and that means that with the new soda tech system you can upload it straight away it can be keyword straight keyword it straight away at one click of a button, it's sent to all the news agencies around the world. And it can be in the news desks at all the major broadcasters and, and newspapers around the world. So working with picture agencies like SIPA, um, that, that, will, that will happen. Um, so this is uh, really amazing. Another platform is called Superstock. Uh, they're a creative agency. Um, they're also premium, so that's um, also a great partner to, to have in America. And I think a lot of, of you have heard Alami. Um, I've been with Alami for, for 15, 16 years and with my personal portfolio. And I met them last year and they didn't have a premium section of their website. And finally they have it. And now we're signing the contract. So we haven't sent the photos yet, but we are signing the contract with them. And that'll be another picture agency with whom we will be able to walk, so we'll work with. So we're kind of approaching like 40 agencies with whom uh, we're working. And as I said, um, it's growing. Next slide, clients, direct clients. So in May, um, I, I did a lot of effort in, in joining conferences, photo buyer conferences, uh, uh, photo um, general picture agency, uh, seminars, and I met the people at National Geographic um, last year. And, you know, we've been in, in contact and, and communicating. And in May, they wrote to me saying, hey, Paul, uh, we're doing a book um, about aerial photography, and we want to work with you. And these are the different four sections. And remember, I announced to you um say let's go for it if you have anything anything amazing just send it in and we created those galleries those four galleries with over 600 photos and in may and then i, I was following up uh, over summer and then following up again now and just yesterday she wrote saying okay um we're basically there they said that they are choosing some of our photos uh, we know more or less at least one of our photographers who, who's going to be in there. Um, she said that she's going to send me tomorrow some thumbnails of photos that they're going to use. So I think as any photographer, including myself, um, National, Gra National Geographic would be on the top of my list of a place where I would like to have my photos published. So I think we've hit the top. Um, 
And this is really great news. This is just, just amazing. As I mentioned to you, we are reaching out um, and we have been reaching out to, to, to clients and being active and also on LinkedIn and people are coming to us and a production company came to me saying, hey, we want to um, license one of your photos or one of your videos. And it was the one of um, Alex in, in Belgium, a video clip that he shot over Victoria Park in, in Hong Kong. And that was a license for $1,440. Um, another uh, feature film um, picture researcher also found us, uh, recommended Amazing Ariel. Um, and she said, uh, oops, I forgot. Um, that one was sold for a thousand. That was from, so it's going to be used uh, for the for a feature film, of a Hollywood feature film coming out in January 2024. Um, it's a Hollywood blockbuster, and apparently it's going to be used for the for the for the credits at the beginning of the film. Uh, they're going to have different patterns of different places in the world, and they chose one of Michele's uh, photos, and we negotiated because there's always an, always a negotiation. And the production company they started at four hundred dollars, and I managed to bring the price up to 1,400, the picture researcher as well. I try to negotiate, I take my time to negotiate the price to bring it up as much as possible. So that is um, also something big. And I wanted to announce also something um, that I'm happy about. Um, Nuran, she reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and on LinkedIn. And, you know, I also get messages here and there, and then we started chatting, and then we started talking and a call, and um, Nuran was, um, and she's on the call here, so. Hey. Hello. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, so Nuran's going to start working with Amazing Ariel. Um, so, she, so just to tell you her background, she, she was working for Mauritius, Mauritius Images and she was um, a picture researcher, meaning um, there was a sales team and they would say, oh, please, can you do some uh, galleries for this client? And then she would basically create these galleries um, for our photos or for, for, for clients. And so she, has a, so she was working for seven years at... Uh, at Mauritius Images, so she has a lot of, 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 uh, of experience. And I asked her if she takes on this role to also be um, in, in terms of um, sales and customer care, reaching out to our existing clients um, and preparing galleries for them and just being this continuous person who is calling, talking, emailing, presenting new photos, new videos, just to keep the ball rolling, that we're always on top of the list, always on top of the pile um, at these at these agencies. And when we do reach out, it will really pay off. And um, the Gettys and the Shutterstocks, they don't really, really take care of their clients. And people really love um, working with, with us because we have this um, great care that we that we have for, for, for our clients. Um, and Another great benefit is that um, at Mauritius Images, they were also using Sotheby. So she has that knowledge that she can also bring into Amazing Aerial. So that means that we don't need to do um, that onboarding and that training, which is, which is really amazing. And also what is super, super cool is that DPA, so the Deutsche Presse Agentur, they're using Sotheby and I asked them, could you please give somebody one of your guys who takes care of the sales reports and how to take takes care of solar tech to train us even more so one of our partner agencies is going to help us um and, and they accepted they wrote me a, an, an email a little bit uh, earlier today which is really really great so so welcome Nuran and uh you guys uh you know that you're in good hands with her and she's going to to, to uh, show, showcase uh, your work to, to our clients. 
another big announcement, and you most likely saw um, I, I sent, uh, emails. Um, just a second. I sent um, I sent an email out. We are now opening up to new talent again. I think that we've reached a level that we can onboard new photographers. Um, it's going to add um, to, to our collection. It's going to add to our community. It's going to add to our skill set. Um, more characters, more people, um, more diversity. So um, this is something that is important for Amazing Ariel. And um, it's just going to make us stronger. As I mentioned, so this launch has been uh, orchestrated by Carlo, Johnny, Eva, Dimitri, and Rebecca. Um, and we've been working very hard on this. And we're still working very hard on creating reels and, and creating a, um, an environment of um, giving value and showcasing our photographers and showcasing our work and showcasing where we've been published and and how much money we also generating as photographers so this is ongoing and we we're preparing let's say content in, in advance looking at what what the messaging we want to 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 share the communication that we want to share and trying to build that in advance so it's it's coherent and um so most of you might have seen, but um, this is our new website. Carlo designed this from in, in Kajabi. Uh, Johnny, she did all the automation behind. So there's email sequences behind, there's value emails behind, there's webinars behind. There's a lot, lot going on behind the scenes. Um, I recorded a, an interview, um, like a, explaining what Amazing Aerial is and how we can get premium rates for our photos instead of just getting um, cents and, and, and micro stock rates. Um, yeah, presenting the, the, the four week live course, presenting our thriving community and also where we're being published and um, that people can contact us. So I am having one on one calls. Um, we, on, we, we onboarded uh, many of our photographers here started at the beginning of the year um so i talk to everybody i look see if their character fits if their talent fits um that they're a good fit for amazing aerial so it's not like everybody can join it's 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 really filtered and um just to keep the, the quality and uh and the values that we have an amazing aerial and um some of our photographers were kind enough to send in some testimonial videos and something that we might ask you to also do in future relates to the reels and, and promoting yourself. And um, yeah, so this is, this is really, really good news. And then as you might've seen also from our Instagram, Instagram feed that is also now becoming, um, looking different, giving value as, as I mentioned, um, tips and tricks, saying where we've been licensed and, and the video, and we're doing the podcasts, uh, with the women are gonna be doing a lot more podcasts as well, and profiling our photographers. So um, this is also um, very exciting. Um, so partnerships, so we, what we want to do, we want to also have partnerships where we can um, get the find, find new talent. So it's, it's kind of, um, um, a lot of work to go and find individual photographers and find individual talent. So what you would want to try to do is to try to do partnerships. So uh, women who drone, for example, um, we can do a partnership with them and, and, and present amazing aerial to them. And um, we also want to do partnerships with, uh, with, with other, there's Vecfo as well. Um, they have uh, many photographers that are interested in, in joining. Um, also with Charlie and, and Drone Globe, um, trying to kind of bring people in um, that, that, that makes sense. And in addition to the partnerships, we want to create ambassador programs. So that's within our team. So looking at photographers within our team that um, 
would like to be an ambassador. Um, so we would work with you in building um, communication, building affiliate programs, building a whole system which would also incentivize our photographers to um, be the ambassador of Amazing Aerial and, and bring, in, bring in new talent. Another way that I'm trying to um, uh, develop Amazing Aerial is, is per country. So I do not talk every single language in the world and I want to give the opportunity to um, our photographers on our team to be country representatives. So we've also started with, uh, with Mexico. Um, actually, one uh, man named Fabian, he reached out a couple of months ago. Um, I don't think he's on the call. Um, he reached out, he, has a, he actually has a photo agency and he's been doing this for 15 years. He represents a lot of big agencies and he has um, a lot of thousands of clients in Mexico. And he, he reached out to me saying, I want to be a representative of Amazing Aerial. I don't want this kind of subscription stuff. I want to work with high quality uh, photography and, and, give, and show this to my, to, my, uh, to my clients. But I'm also interested in aerial photography and I'm also interested in building Amazing Aerial. So he's also reaching out to photographers in Mexico to join the team. So I've, I spoke to, to one already, um, uh, Oscar. Uh, amazing photographer, and I'm talking to him again tomorrow. Um, so, and then I also spoke yesterday with uh, Ola Fusi from 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 Nigeria. I would like to develop countries in Africa. So I'm starting with starting with Nigeria because we have a photographer there. He reached out to other photographers in Nigeria. Um, had a WhatsApp group, and yesterday I had a call with them. So presenting amazing aerial, training them, their, their pilots. I mean, uh, in Africa, it's a completely different story to, to anywhere else um, in the world. So, I mean, there's not there are no sh real shops to go and buy drones. There's no repair shops. Um, the regulations are, are very, very difficult. Uh, when you go to the airport, they can confiscate your drone. If you want to go flying from one neighboring country to the other, um, you can't take your drone with you. So it's quite difficult, and I think um, countries uh, like Nigeria really need our support and um, also our training. And I think we could also um, develop some some great things there. Um, so we can also talk about that afterwards. And in general, I want our photographers to be able to um, to to talk about Amazing Aerial. So I can ask you, you know, do you have any photographers that you would like to recommend? Um, you have the affiliate program, you have your coupon code. If you recommend somebody, I will talk to them. And when they join, um, you will get a commission from that. So um, we did, we spent money, we gave money to, to, to Zuckerberg in the last month. And I'm not happy with that. Um, and I prefer giving it to you. Um, so I'm coming to the end. I just wanted to announce that in two days on Thursday at the same time, um, 6 p.m. Uh, Central European time. So you, you know that uh, in, in your, your time zone, I sent an email. Um, I'm doing the fourth week tip and tricks, tips and tricks. And this is going to be exciting because um, I'm going to tell you my tips and my tricks. And I want to also hear your tips and tricks and also build value emails and reels also around that. So. Um, but this is something that is part of this um, educational program uh, that I developed at, at Amazing Aerial. It's going to be a live course. It's going to be recorded and it will be put into sections. And then the four-week course will be complete, um, cut into different sections. You all have access to it. Um, if you don't remember how to get there, you can, you can ask me. Um, but you all have access to it. And what we'll be doing, instead of doing... Um, uh, just repeating the same course again and again. People can so new photographers can can go through that four four week course at their own pace. But then we're going to be doing a creative direction and trends uh, calls to and portfolio reviews, um, a lot more fun things. Um, so last thing before I end, um, this and this is very important, and this is something that. Um, I have a big issue with is that I have the feeling that 
I need to do everything and I need to build amazing aero for everybody. And, and for me, that's not necessarily a, a community because I believe that a community is where people come together and people do things together and they, and they, and they contribute to a community. And so what this slide is called is like, give your time to grow our community. So in the past, I, I had a lot of difficulty asking for support because if you said, okay, I'm, I can help you Paul, And then I'm like, oh, but how, I, I didn't know how to actually manage it. So now things are getting more organized and there will be outreaches asking you who wants to get involved in this. So I'm not asking for a full-time job. I'm asking for um, a couple of hours a week. Um, and that can be to support us in our growing, in our tasks that we need to do every day. Um, that could also be developing new features. So we were talking with Sabine the other day about team members meeting up, like meetups. Um, so it could be developing that, for example, like, okay, um, um, so Sabine is going to go to, to the Maldives, so we can reach out, like, is anybody going to go to the Maldives? And I think you're in the Maldives already, right? You're right. <laughs> um, so who's, who's going to the Maldives? Who wants to go to the Maldives? Let's do a meetup. Let's meet. Let's have fun. Let's uh, get to know each other. Let's fly together. Let's share our skills together. Let's eat together. Um, those kind of meetups. And we can have those meetups in completely different ways, you know? Um, I, one idea that, I, that I'm having is like, just rent a motorhome, put uh, three of our photographers on in and just drive around Sardinia or some other place and just to get to know each other. So that's, that's what I'm looking at. That we can grow the team, that we can consolidate the team and that we become, that we become a community. And I'm going to be trying to find different tools to ease the communication that that can actually happen. So. I, I I really wish for you to to reach out to me, and when I reach out to you, that you can kind of give a helping hand because I think um, being two hundred people times a couple of hours per week, we can really really grow and 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 make and make this um, something very special. And the last side is uh, um, let's listen and talk. So. Do you have any questions? Do you have any concerns? Any recommendations? Anything? I'm I'm all ears, and we are all ears. And I'm going to close this presentation now. Hello. Hey, Paul, and everyone. So, um, first of all, I just want to say thank you for your work. I know you've been working hard with this, and uh, your team. Michele, he's always doing my my videos. Thank you, Michele. He's really great. Um, and with that, I, I had a couple of questions. So I know you talked about the call center stuff. I don't know if that's still a thing that you're doing. Um, so the the call center in terms of reaching out to new photographers or reaching out to clients. Yeah, reach. I don't know if it was clients or for new photographers, but I, th I think you mentioned something uh, before a while back that uh, uh, yeah, you would, you would need help people calling or taking calls or something like that. Uh, yeah, huh, that was related to to on onboarding photographers. Yeah, so okay, okay. Um, I would I would still like to do that, um, and in the in the way of doing ambassadors or affiliate program. So for definitely, I would like to to some support on that would be amazing okay well that, like i said before i'm here so i'll be i'll reach out to you i know you're busy so just a reminder that i'll be here for that uh and my second question was when uh this new program launches and we submit stuff uh you say you said it like it was going to upload quick like fast like that so we would have to have everything ready to go for it to be able to do that but if you don't have things ready to go like for example like when i don't edit videos um will i still be able to submit to that same platform and then either mikhail or or 
someone's going to review and do the work to prepare it to be good? Um, that's a that's a good good point you have. Um, so if if you need to do a an editing service of clipping, for example, then um, it would make more sense that you send it directly to to Michele. Um, but if it's ready, you would upload it directly to the to, to the platform. Got it. So the platform platform is only for ready stuff. That's right. That's right. Okay. So oh, cool. And that means edit, edited or clipped. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's all I had. Again, thanks uh, for your support and always working on it. I, I almost met with Sabine but, uh, in, when she was in Germany, uh, but I, I just oh, was yeah. there quickly and I, and I couldn't make it. But uh, we talked about next year meeting up, so uh, or come to my life. I might be coming over there. So. Next time. You ready, Sabine? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right, I cool. am. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's important that uh, that we that we meet up and um, um, that we that, that we get these the, these meetups. I think it's very important. Paul, um, first of all, congratulations! Hey, yeah, hello, hello to everyone. Um, continued congratulations on the growth and on all the work that you and the team have been putting into making this what it has become, it's quite, continues to be quite impressive. And I think the new website and the new look is going to um, elevate it even further because it's very eye-catching and it's striking. Um, I had a quick question with regard to video versus photo in terms of submission. I seem to remember that at one point you were kind of, I don't want to say pushing, but promoting um, video submissions. I don't want to say over photo submissions, but you were really promoting that. Is that still the case or is it more like a 50-50 kind of a thing or where are you with that? Um, so video is very, 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 very hot. Right. So, so for example, it represents um, maybe 30% of our portfolio, Okay. but it represents 50% of our sales. Okay. So yes, yeah, so video is, is is very important. Would you say it's more important than photo? Be, I, I guess the background why I'm asking is with the given amount of time that we all have, what would we focus? What should we focus more on, so to speak, capturing video, submitting video, or capturing and submitting photo, or both at the same time, kind of like? So, um, from your point of view. So the thing is that with, with video, um, there's no, to say, like premium video. I mean, video mm -hmm. is considered premium products at okay. these agencies, but um, they're not sold for like like 200 or $300 or $400 at the agencies. Okay. They're kind of sold, let's say, a little bit more like on subscription model. Okay. Where basically, there's a lot of sales going on. You know, it's like it's so that means that um, you can generate a lot of rep repetitive video sales mm -hmm. because the price is not so high for the clients and there's a lot of kind of subscriptions and there's also a paid a paid uh, per, per, per download, but there's also these subscription data based. So okay. that means that um, you can you can generate quite a bit of money from from videos from getting smaller let's say royalties to higher royalties with with with, with the videos but you got you got the possibility of making more sales and more downloads with videos than you do with with photos the thing with photos is that they still sold at a higher price mm -hmm. um but yeah so kind of as, as i mentioned we we work with some quite a few su subscription uh, websites so that's why there's this pool system. That means that more videos you have in the pool, then the more money you actually getting from that pool. Mm -hmm. So, so that pool, for example, we have, um, um, I think it was close to ten thousand dollars in that pool every quarter. Um, so, of which, um, yeah, photographers get half, 
And that basically turns out, and in terms of a calculation, in terms of quantity of videos, um, of about, um, I think it was 20 cents or something like that per video mm -hmm. that you get per quarter. So let's say if you have uh, 200 uh, videos, you would basically get, um, uh, I, I, I just uh, I, I just need to go again into the figures. I just don't want to, don't want to talk uh, nonsense again, but basically, you're um, you're you're getting a, a percentage right. of of that pool money depending on how big your big your portfolio is. Okay. Okay. When um, last question with regard to Soda Tech, do you envision for the new website to be live in? Did I hear you say February or your March of next year? No, no. So, Soda Tech. So we have we have two parts of Soda Tech. You have the back end of of, of Soda Tech right. and the front end. So right. the back end is us for like FTPing for you to submit for the sales right. report, for the invoicing, uh, for the AI uh, API, um, basically everything that happens behind sure. the scenes. Sure. And and then also um, and then you have the 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 front end, which is clients coming on board, uh, looking at our beautiful website, um, right. choosing galleries, um, looking at the photographers, looking at their portfolio, doing a search with four videos, doing a search for, sure. for photos, um, downloading, making light boxes. That is the front end. Right. Um, so so that's going to take time. That's uh, going to take time because the, the, to design something great. So not not a question of only design how it's going to look, but all because Soda Tech has like all these plugs, okay? Sure. And you need to design something and plug it in. Design that. So like design a team page, plug it in. Design the the the, the light box page, plug that in. Design the the video parts, plug that in. Photo part. So there's a so on this web, website is going to be quite a hefty website, right? And you basically need to plug it in. So you need to have a designer. Um, slash also a programmer just to make sure that everything fits in well, but um, that's not going to happen. So, for example, our current photo shelter page is just like a, a template, and of course you can search for for photos only. You can't search for videos because they don't allow videos. Right. I mean, photo shelter they haven't evolved in the last fifteen years, yes. so that's why we're actually changing. Okay. Um, but we're going to have this front end, and when we have this front end, it's also going to basically generate more sales sure. because because now we can do some some marketing sure. um, you know and uh, we, we we can do some uh, some some advertising sure and people can come currently when you when people go to photo shelter they it's very difficult very difficult for them to yeah, buy it's, it's very clunky and very cumbersome yeah. do you envision the front end to be let's say done within the next year or so um i hopefully would say that um um Hopefully by by next summer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because cool. the thing is that as, as as I told you, you know, um, we we rely. I mean, amazing aerial grows as our team grows, as our sales grow. So sure. what happens is that when I over the months, I kind of we we, we get royalties from 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 uh, our photos, and then I think, okay, now I have this lump sum of money, I'm going to. Do something with that. So that's why I did this launch. Um, so making uh, the new web web page and doing these reels and, and, and getting people involved, um, and then again waiting for some lump sum of money to yeah. do something else. So I mean, to design a, a front page um, can be quite expensive, and, sure, sure. and I don't have any fine investments or financiers or anything. It's basically it's built on our business model, so. Right, right. Okay. And cool. it's, also, it's also one of the reasons why um, it, 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 I, I charge a membership fee now to enter Amazing Aerial, mm -hmm. is to support this growth. Right. You know, because if we want to grow, we need to get um, contributions, but um, and to build new tools for us to be able to make more money. So, for example. Moving to Soda Tech is going to cost me. Um, developing this AI tool is going to cost, you know. So we need to pay it somehow. Um, but now that we're with Soda Tech, um, and then we can uh, develop the infringement 
part of our agency. So that's another revenue stream. So what I want people to understand is that when 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 people think, oh, but why do I need to pay to to join Amazing Aerial? It's because you're part of a community and you're actually investing within the growth of Amazing Aerial. And um, and yeah, so it's it's um, so when people hear that they need to pay, sometimes they don't even want to listen, you know. But that's why it's just it's, for example, if you want to grow the team, you just need to recommend other photog other photog photographers to saying, "I believe that you should join Amazing Aerial and have a talk with Paul." You can say it's going to cost you. There's an entrance fee, but have a chat with Paul so I can explain the whole value sure. to people um, that they understand what's going on. Otherwise, they don't know what they're paying for. Right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Great. Does anybody have a thank you, Marian? Have any, another question or comment? Okay. Does anybody have a question or comment? Me. Me. Okay. <laughs> hey, Paul. Uh, and community and team. So. I've just arrived in the Maldives and a couple of days ago I talked to Paul about having a community meeting. I think uh, it's high time that we finally meet in person, maybe not all the 200 at the same time, but for those who have some time right now to come to the Maldives, it's not tomorrow but I will stay here until April, hopefully. So escaping from the German winter. So, uh, and I'm staying at a local guest house. So I'm a big fan of the local islands in the Maldives. And here it is very cozy. And we have seven rooms available here at the moment. And a nice uh, yard here. I'm sitting right now. Yeah, it's a very cozy guest house in the north of the Maldives. And plenty of space and there's a big sand bank. Everything is here. And so if you are interested, you can drop me a message or you can call Paul. Uh, we spoke about mm, maybe March, Paul, if my memory serves me right. So... I could organize it. There's no money involved. You just pay for accommodation and you have half board here. So if someone is interested to join me and we could fly together so March or April, no, there's Easter holiday season. So then it's fully booked here, but for March I could organize it. So that's my yeah. message. Uh, I can yeah. hardly keep my eyes open because I've just arrived. <laughs> I'm pretty tired, but anyway, okay. Thanks, thanks a lot, Sabine. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. as, like, I was also thinking of going to, to the Maldives uh, in in, uh, in winter as well, uh, maybe India and then the Maldives. So this is something that I want to do with the community in terms of communication. I'm trying to find a great tool for us to communicate. And I think I've found one uh, where we can we can communicate more fluidly about these asking who wants to come and who, who's going where at what point and to try to connect photographers more. So thank you, Sabina, for that. Very welcome. Um, does anybody want to have a comment or um, want to say something? Okay, great. Um, so I hope this was uh, valuable to you and um, that it kind of um, put in perspective of where we are and what we're doing. And um, as I said, we're going to, um, we would love you to be more involved and within the community and to and to give your time um to develop new features within within amazing area cool well um i don't believe this was only one hour normally it lasts much longer so <laughs> thank you very much for your time 
and um, and thanks for, for, for joining uh, the call and um, hopefully see you on Thursday for the tips and tricks. It'd be great to, to that I um, tell you um, what I have learned over many years in terms of uh, editing and, and also flying and that uh, we can also talk about um, your your tips and tricks as well. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Thank Sabine, you. I'll see you bye. soon. I'm bye. from Maldives. Ha, ha, ha. My dear Moses. <laughs> Great. You OK. Next Have a lovely time. Bye, Paul. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.